Hello again. In this chapter, we're having to use uh, random variables, uh, their CDF and PDF. Now we want to know what are the properties of the probability density function. The first property of the probability density function is that it is always um, uh, non-negative. So this is one property. And the second property is that its total integral is equal to one. If you have these two property um, satisfied for in function, we call it a valid uh, property density function. Other properties, they, they, <coughs> they come from these. The CDF can be calculated using this integral, um, if this is your PDF. At any given point x, uh, here you um, say that the CDF, f x of x, at this point, is equal to, uh, at this particular point, uh, <coughs> is equal to um, this area. Now, because this x is fixed, you need to use another dummy variable, alpha, which varies from minus infinity to point x. So this is why I use alpha varies from minus infinity to x, fx of x. So um, remember that here you have to use another dummy variable. You cannot put x here or we cannot put x here and so on. So uh, the, the upper uh, uh, boundary of the integral is equal to this x. The lower one is minus infinity. So from this guy, if you calculate the derivative, you could immediately say that the, the PDF is equal to the derivative of of the CDF. And CDF is the integral of the PDF. So there is a one-to-one -one relationship. So these can give this one and vice versa. Uh, another um, uh, property is that if you have the PDF and if you want to calculate uh, uh, probability that your random variable is in, let's say, this interval uh, between the, in this area, so this is the area between uh, x minus delta and x. Then, uh, obviously, probability of this event is equal to integral from uh, x minus delta to x of fx of x. This is by definition the uh, x. Something is wrong here. I could not use x. I should use another w variable alpha. Now, if this delta is very small enough, uh, then, then this function is all in this area. Instead of having a slope, it is almost constant. So I could say that this is approximately equal to the value f at linear x or at this one. So I have fx of x times widths of that. So I basically, I could approximate this area with the area of this rectangle times delta. So... Uh, so this is this is what I got as this property here, and the property four comes from the third one, and uh, third one is coming from uh, uh, fourth one, and fourth one is coming from third one, and so on. So they are interrelated. So remember that the PDF is not a probability itself. So f x of x uh, shall be uh, non-negative, but it could be bigger than 1, because when you multiply by delta, f x of x, multiplied by delta, this is probability. So therefore, f x of x is equal to probability that x is smaller than or x and bigger than x minus delta. And then you divide it by delta, because this delta is a very small number, these can be big. So it is possible to have values greater than 1 or a smaller 1. In uh, this case, um, if all the masses, if, if the, your PDF has a delta at point x0, if your PDF is 0 everywhere, here and here, and except at this point you have a delta, so obviously the integral of this delta function, uh, as you know, is equal to 1, the area is so all the mass of probability is concentrated like that. We call this a degenerate random variable. We call this x 
degenerate random variable if it has a distribution with all probability concentrated at the center of distribution.